Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. I had a really good day of calls. I did like some long time outside this morning, which always is so good for the soul. I went to the crystal store. It's been a good day here. So I hope everybody else is having an amazing day. Um, today, I am super excited about what we're talking about because I think this is such a fun topic, such an interesting topic, and uh, such a thing sometimes, right? So I titled this live stream, It Is About the Money, because I think that there is this way where, especially as women and caretakers and service-based entrepreneurs, we can be a little scared to let it be about the money or own that it's about the money, right? And especially at the beginning of your business, it is definitely, definitely about the money because if you wanna build a long-term sustainable business, you have to make money in it, right? So it doesn't mean that you're not service-based, that you're not in integrity, that you don't have a heart to bring your mission and message to the world, right? But it actually is about the money in business in many ways, always, right? But definitely it's okay to let it be about the money, right? In some ways, I think there is like two camps almost in this industry of like one over here is like, it's all about the money. It's about six figures. It's about how much I made this month. It's about my VIP lifestyle, like all that kind of stuff. And like the other one over here is like, it's about serving, it's about doing good, it's about sharing my message with the world, it's about what I can use this money to do and whatever, right? Me, there's wrong, I don't really have an opinion about it, but I think that what happens is that we miss this middle ground a lot of the time, where like it can be about the money and it also can be about service, and like that is literally the tenant or the thing that's most important to me in value-centered sales is that you have to show up and give value. It's not just about how can you make 30K and not like deliver the value of that or like receive the um, exchange for that or be participative in the exchange for that, right? But it's also not like, how do you just go out there and like serve people and hopefully the money will show up? No, you can be about both and it is okay for it to be about the money. So uh, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Margaret Lynch. Um, she talks a lot about tapping. She is on YouTube. She has amazing uh, video scripts for tapping. If you love her, comment below and tell me you love her. <laughs> I absolutely adore her. Um, and she has this amazing book called Tapping Into Wealth. And in it, she kind of talks about not using the word abundance um, because it's kind of like the bypass to not say money, right? Um, and it kind of avoids the money conversation because that feels icky and scary. And like, so we use words like abundance as this bypass, right? Um, and it's kind of a way to like tap out <laughs> of the engagement around money, right? So personally, I still kind of like the word abundance because I think there are a lot of other ways for us to be rich. And, you know, I don't want to get into that whole conversation. But I think there is a way that when we are super caregiving, super service-based that we kind of want to tap out of the money piece. And that's why people get weird about sales. Uh, Rama says her book is awesome. It's so good, right? Um, I, uh, I think, yeah, there's a way that we uh, tap out of the money conversation and we want to like get out of the sales piece too. Uh, because we think if I just give value, people will tell me they want to buy from me and then I won't have to engage in the money piece. I won't have to engage in the sales piece. I'm just about serving, right? Molly says, yes, I love her. Great videos and book. Totally. I love her too. She's amazing. Um, so yeah, and if total sidebar, but if you haven't read that book, read it because it brings up your shit in the best way. Like, you totally get resistant during parts of it, depending on like where your stuff is, but it's so good because she's just such a great mirror in this book and has so many actionable tools. So tapping into wealth, Margaret Lynch, totally separate topic, but you should read it. All right, so same thing though of like avoiding the money conversation, right? 
avoiding the sale, avoiding asking for money, which is like what many people associate sales as, right? And so just avoiding that altogether. I'm just gonna serve, 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 and then the money will show up, right? And here's what it is. If you serve and engage in even energy exchange, the money does show up. I totally have a belief in serving and I don't wanna not be about that. But when we do it as this way of avoiding or detaching from or not being part of wanting to bring money in our business, claiming that we want to make money, even using the word money, maybe even, which I'm sure we've all done this, when you see the person that's like, I made 100K this month and I just bought a new Chanel bag, totally wanting to shame the shit out of them, at least in your own head, <laughs> right? <laughs> being like, ew, no, gross, you're all about the money. When really that's like a reflection in us of like, interesting, I'm super turned off by people being all about the money, right? Now, in this middle ground area, people can totally be all about the money or they can totally not be all about it. And it's kind of irrelevant to us because we are about both, right? Rama says, totally, I have done the bypassing the sale thing, hiding behind value. Yeah, so true. I think we all want to do that or there's like a desire to like get to bypass that piece of it. Um, especially again, like when we feel like this is our mission, our message, and we're here to serve in such a big way, sometimes it feels weird to monetize it, right? Um, Cause we're like, well, no, I mean, it's weird to get paid for the thing I'm like kind of put on this planet to do. And actually no, like you need to get paid for the thing you're put on this planet to do. And you need to be okay with that and you need to receive it and you want to let it in, right? Lauren says, oh wait, say that book again. So it's Margaret Lynch and it's tapping into wealth. Clearing some serious money shit, perfect timing. Oh my God, good. Th that book is good for that. Like, just know that like, you will probably wanna stop reading it at some point and that's when you should keep going. <laughs> um, just as with anything, right? So if you find yourself wanting to tap out, wanting to use the word abundance a lot, wanting to not engage in sales because somehow that means you're asking for money, this is totally a place to look at because what you're not doing is setting up smart processes in your business that allow you to receive and bring in the money. So it goes both ways. Like it's totally the mindset here, but it's also the strategy piece of like, are you letting yourself build a sustainable business? Or are you just showing up and spewing value everywhere and never asking for the sale and going, why can't I build a long-term sustainable business? This is shit, right? <laughs> so I want to invite you to look at are you letting it be about the money sometimes? Are you okay with that? Are you okay with claiming, not like I need money or something like that, right? But like owning, like I want more money because I wanna get this thing. I want more money to feel good about. I want um, to own that and not feel guilty for that and not have a reaction when I see other people owning that, right? Like personally, I'm not super into the whole, um, you know, how much did you make this month all the time? And like sharing, I guess I share numbers, I don't know. I just am not like into using it in marketing and like if you do this one thing, then you'll make 100K. But like what I'm not into isn't a trigger, right? Like it's not like, ooh, you're gross because of that. It's like, ooh, I know that's not for me, but here's where I lie. So think about like, where is your place here? Where are you like coming from a non-triggered place where you're super comfortable letting it be about the money and it can still be about the service. And it's not like you're choosing either, right? But if we wanna build long-term sustainable businesses, we always have to be choosing both. Anna says, yes, good. Hey, Lisa, thank you. So here's where we get tripped up is that either one, we just wanna disengage altogether or two, we think, oh, I'll engage in creating a sales process or selling once I've done these 150 other things. Just, it's all bypass though, right? Like I'll engage in selling once I've gotten really clear on this and done this and have this on my page and done this with my landing page and my opt-in and my whatever and da da da. And like, it's just all bypass. It's the same thing. Like it's just like we talked about earlier, like using the word abundance to bypass money, using the 150 things you need to do to bypass having to ask for money. 
that's what selling is in some ways is like asking for exchange, right? So even if like asking for money feels like such an icky thing, really you are asking for exchange, but let it be okay that you want to make the money, right? Um, And I just want to like give permission around that, not only because I think from a strategy perspective, it really is non-negotiable and super smart to start planning your sales process and how you're going to sell and how you're going to ask for money early, but also because this is something I've totally gone through, like the fucking ringer within my business. Rama says distractions, business distractions, but soul distractions. Exactly. Exactly. Like all of that is to make you money, but like you're not going to ask for the money, right? It's just kind of interesting what we do to ourselves. So One of the things that I've kind of gone through in my business, just like full realness and transparency here, is that as I've made more money and been more resourced to uh, give and do fun things with that and take care of the people, causes, um, and planet things that I care about, there's been this really interesting decision that I have to make of like, what comes to me, what goes to that stuff, and like, where is the line, right? Like, uh, do I give all the extra money I make every month to the animal charity I love. I don't know. There's a part of me that's like really uh, could be tempted to do that. And then there's this way that it almost becomes this like um, self-sacrificing thing or um, a way to, again, like tap out of the money conversation or the money exchange or whatever, right? So what I've really been engaged in lately is how do I do both always? So how do I give in a way that fills my heart and fulfills my business and feels really good. And how do I also like let myself feel rich and let myself bring in this money and do fun things with it and not feel guilty, right? And not feel like, oh, but I'm not that girl that flies to Paris and buys the Chanel bag. Like, well, what if I want a nice bag? Like maybe that's just cool and okay. And so I've really been in process around this a lot lately. And I feel like really I've never not been in process around this. It's just the next level of process around it, right? And so that's why I wanted to share this because I think it's so important like when we're talking sales, when we're talking uh, stuff like this, even when we're talking value-centered sales, like it's okay to let it be about the money. And like we have to start as women giving each other permission to do that and modeling doing it in a really healthy way that can be middle ground, that doesn't have to be all about the things or all of not about the things, right? Um, I was going to say something about this and now I just forgot. (laughs) Does anybody have questions about this? Thoughts? Comments? Hold on, let me just think of what I was going to say. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Okay, so last month I had my biggest month in business, which is awesome and great. Super grateful for it. And that was totally like a weird edge to be like, ooh, what do I do, (laughs) right? Um, And actually, I did something, um, and I told one of my friends about it, and I was like, but I I don't think I would really share this because this feels a little, I don't know, raw or real or like I should feel bad or guilty or like it goes against my message. And then as soon as I said that out loud to her, I was like, oh my God, no, this is exactly my message, and I'm doing really like fucked up shit in my head around it. And so it was really cool to just, notice that and then be like, ah, yes, this is what I need to give myself permission on and give other people permission on. So the thing was, I love to get, um, uh, like whatever, uh, blankets, towels, food, whatever our local, um, animal charity really needs. And that's really fun for me. And so there was a part of me that was like, oh my God, I'm going to give them like a big check and it's going to be really fun. And I still went and got them stuff last month, but I was like, no, like I want to do both. And so I want to like get myself something that feels like really lavish and really luxurious and like really out there um, because I want to start receiving at this level and being okay with it being about the money sometimes. And so I got myself this amazing handbag, super stoked about it. I kind of love it. I feel like it's my baby. I put it in its little bag every night because I don't want it to like get dirty. I mean, it's ridiculous, but it like makes me really happy. Like, look at how happy I am when I talk about it. It's just so pretty. And so I want to let myself be okay with that and still do good. And so it doesn't mean like I'm becoming one of these people that's going to talk every month about how much money I made and what purse I bought and 
all of that, but I am going to let myself be about both. And so that's what I want this conversation to be about. That's what I want you to think about in sales in your business is like, you're not selling out because you like bought yourself a nice thing or it doesn't mean you're not service-based or that you don't want to change the world. Uh, you're not selling out because you want it to be about the money and the impact, right? Um, and that's, uh, showing up probably in lots of ways in your business, depending on how you're thinking about this. So, um, if you're one of the people trying to like totally tap out and not have that conversation and just serve, 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 you're probably wondering why the hell you're not making sales and nobody's buying from you. If you're not, uh, if you're just focusing on the money and then it feels like that's the only thing driving you, it's really easy to lose motivation really fast and kind of feel crappy. And so when we can meet in the middle and let it always, uh, be about both, that's when we can actually come from a place in our business of making smart strategy and smart decisions because it's okay, right? Like I don't have to bring all this guilt or baggage either way. I get to go, it's about the money and I'm also motivated by like giving value and serving, right? So that's what value centered sales is about is like, how are we doing both? Yeah. Anna says totally money doesn't change our heart, just reveals what's already in there. Absolutely. Molly says, yes, impact and income are necessary if we're going to make a difference. Yeah, great point too, right? Like if I'm just always giving value and never resourcing myself, the animal shelter doesn't get those blankets, right? <laughs> so that's a great point. Like I get to leverage that, you know? Kara says, looking for the middle for sure. Exactly. So real, thank you. Our clients want impact and income, so they need to see us have both. Exactly. Like that's what I feel like I haven't been showing enough of in my business. Um, it's like the back end of what does that look like, right? So I'm so glad this is resonating with you guys. Income and impact, definitely. Yeah. Um, so the purse thing was really funny for me because I was like, oh, I would never, I would never be someone that shared a picture of her purse. And then I was like, ooh, that means I have some triggered shit there, right? <laughs> so that's been like super interesting for me to look at and let be okay. So I'm excited to like share that and own it. Maybe I'll share a picture of it here just to like call myself out and kind of, get super uncomfortable because that's what I would tell my clients to do is find that uncomfortable space and like push it a little bit right um and actually I don't know I haven't really shared this a lot but I'm going to more coming up but I have this bracelet that I created um with uh the intent of doing the same thing so it provides money to the Tory Burch Foundation it's with Mallory Sills she made it um I helped her design it and when people buy it the profits from it go to support the Tory Burch Foundation, which supports entrepreneurs. And like, that was like the exact thing that I wanted to create with that was like the idea that you can give yourself something and make an impact. Like it has to be about that exchange where like we fill ourselves in ways that feel good and we get to wear pretty things and feel good about it. And we get to serve and support in small and big ways. So that's something I want to talk about. That's something I want to be about. That's something I want to give permission to you to, for it to be about. And especially at the beginning of your business, like it does have to be about the money because if not, like what happens, right? Like you have to stop serving and go back to your nine to five or whatever, right? Um, super great idea. Thank you, Kara. I'll drop the link to that below. I don't, oh, I don't have it on right now, um, but it's really cute. Uh, so yeah, like this idea that it, and be about the money and you're not a bad person if it is about the money, right? So in value centered sales, that's exactly what it's about. Even energy exchange, you giving value and then asking for the sale and then getting that value in return, right? We don't want to be the person that is just about the sale and then gets the money and then doesn't earn the money, right? Or give the value. But if you're giving the value, if you're serving, you need to be getting that even energy exchange in return and getting the sale. So we are going to come up with a sales process that is repeatable, replicable, that you can use again and again to make sure that you're doing both always, right? So if you guys are interested, Value Centered Sales is open. I'm super excited about that. I'm really excited to talk about uh, the even energy exchange piece of it. You're going to hear me say that a lot more this week as we're talking about sales because that is such a non-negotiable. But I think it starts with being available to let it be about the money and to let yourself receive money. So if you want to join us, you can visit www.alittleblife.com.
youtube.com forward slash value centered sales. If you have questions about that, drop them below. And if you're watching the replay, I would love to hear your thoughts on this because I think this is a conversation that we need to engage in more in this space. So I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon.